is uh, Pumla Nabachwa. Good morning, Pumla. Good morning, Brian. As Lando. is known on Facebook. And uh, at b -Wall, those who use Twitter, people don't know your real name. People know you as b, -Wall. b -Wall. So when you tell people, it's called Benjamin, everyone is like, what? Uh, I'm sorry, it's Bernard. But I like them Bernard. to know me as b -Wall. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with that. Why, why, did, we, why did you choose b -Wall? It's, uh, it's, it's a nickname. It's a nickname. Plus the first two letters of each of my names. Yeah, that's b -Wall. Yeah, it's like when, when you tell people, yeah, I'm going to, I, I was telling someone, I'm going to talk to this guy called Bernard tomorrow. Like, who is that? I, I, I prefer to have it that way because, you know, those are two different people okay. for me, yeah. Good morning. Morning. Your life is out there for everyone to watch, <laughs> to see the stuff, the content that you guys generate. I'll start with you, Pumla. I think the, the question that my producer was, was, was telling me was, the first question should be to Pumla, <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll say, number one, it's a misconception that our lives actually are there. Yes, mm -hmm. there is a risk of privacy invasion, but we only give you a small segment of what actually is our lives. And then people run away with it and assume that is completely who you are. That's the comprehensive version of you. But really, it isn't. It's just a snapshot into our lives. We let you in into our lives, right. but it's really just a snapshot. It does not define my life at a whole. Well, don't you run a risk that what you post online, people will perceive that, ah, oh, this guy. Uh, we were having a discussion earlier about people, you know, before food, they post <laughs> the food. No, naturally, you, you, you run the risk of uh, creating a, you know, a certain persona about yourself. But then, um, like, like people have said over and over again, I am responsible for what I post. I'm not responsible for how you understand it, right? Mm -hmm. And so when I, put, when I put something out there, I, I put it out with a specific intention of this is what I want you to see. But if you see something else, it's totally on you. And, and uh, Pumla said that um, when somebody puts their life online, you know, well, a, a segment of it, it's not entirely their, their whole being, mm -hmm. yeah? Because for instance, uh, like you said, very many people don't know my real name. Mm -hmm. and, and I choose for it to be that way uh, because, uh, you know, I've got also a personal life. I've got a life outside you, of social Bernard media. There's Bernard and there's b -Wall. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. Because I will tell you that there's, there's very many friends I know, who, you know, who know me online, but they don't know where I work, you know. Um, they don't know if, if I have a partner or if I'm divorced, you know, so it, it's, it's, uh, it, you, you create what you want them to see. Right. Yeah. Well, um, we see most of this happening, you know, for example, now there's been a major discussion online about how people do not talk to each other even when they go out. You know, we're out yeah. partying, you're like, yeah. <laughs> yes, I, I will say that for me, that is the biggest setback of social media and the internet at large. Every advantage will have an extreme and opposite disadvantage. Yes, we are networking, but on the other hand, we have re end endangered face-to-face -face connections. Nobody talks to anybody anymore. How, how long uh, don't you have difficult like staying offline? No. <laughs> really? I don't, actually. And that's, you, you see, that's another misconception because people think, oh, maybe she has there's a social media and she's always on Facebook and she's always... I can go a full week without social media and I'll be just fine. It's just that when I come, I come with a bang. It's a bang. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't you have, like, uh, okay, they are setting up some awesome major things here. So she'll hook us up. She's also a social media freak. So uh, there, there are some awesome trends that yeah. are created. And, yeah. people, you know, like guys at 2 a.m., yes. you know, you hear your phone, it's notification, 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 and it's always there. So don't you have difficulty, guys, where you stay online for long? I, I don't know if I would describe it as difficulty, because you choose the life, you know. You choose to be online at a certain time. You choose to be online for, mm -hmm. you know, whatever period of time. And um, as much as somebody else might see it as a difficulty, because they probably don't understand how much value I attach to social media. I could also say that staying offline is difficult, you know. I could say that how do you stay in touch with the rest of the world? How do you know what's happening left, right, and center? How do you get updates of, you know, things? How do you, I could also say that. But um, it's, it's, not, it's not really a difficulty per se. It's um, st be, being online, of course, there is the worry that, you know, you get addicted and, and things like that. Yeah. And it happens, it does happen. But every individual is their own master, you know, you're the, the command of your own life if you get addicted and you don't have um you know ways to to, to help yourself out of it 
can be a bit of a trouble. But right. I, I enjoy it personally. If it's an addiction, I'm happy with it. <laughs> you, I, you, you post pictures of your son. You post pictures of where you're traveling. Doesn't yeah. that leave you exposed? Uh, and, and well, you might say you don't post everything, but isn't that a danger that everyone knows? what you're about. I think that's kind of the point. Mm -hmm. When you post on social media, as long as you put a picture out there, as long as you put a writing out there, it will get out and it will not only stop within the sphere that you want it to go, it will go public. And that's what I keep telling people. Anytime you wake, even when you wake up in the morning and get out of your house, just whatever you do is going to be, it will be turbulent, it will be continuous. People right. will see what you're doing. It is a decision you make. Mm -hmm. I have an adorable five and a half year old son. Mm -hmm. Everybody who's followed me knows my boy because mm -hmm. they've been with him since birth. They've yeah. watched him grow yeah, you, year you, after you, you, year you, after year. When I look <laughs> at you, I think about my wife because both of you had this <gasps> detailed explanation yeah. of how you gave birth. birth exactly. <laughs> and you see, that's another thing because I use my life of the segments of my life to share my experiences with other people and it's been it's really been helpful so many people comment when i do on public but i have so many other people who come back to my inbox to my and tell me things privately and for me that's where the real like um, justification of what i do comes from when right. you share an experience with somebody who maybe some people don't like to talk about some things yeah. but when they see that somebody else has been through it and they're fine and they're all right and it's okay to talk about these things Every, it, it, for me, it turns me out. Sometimes I, I regret, like, when people comment and I say, maybe I said too much, yeah, maybe I revealed yeah. too much, maybe I've shared too much. And then I go back to a one comment of somebody who I see I really, really reached out to in even a, more ways than I had intended originally mm -hmm. when I shared this. For me, that's enough. I don't care what other people, as long as there's an effect, a positive if impact mm -hmm. to an individual. Right. I don't really care what the other noise, the nonsense <laughs> that comes from that comes from, from, from elsewhere. Yeah, yeah. For me, that's my. For me, it's a it's a healing point. Even. Right. So, uh, is it the same feeling you have? Your latest uh, uh, blog was about your cat. Well, um, I, I read <laughs> that. Yeah, I saw that and, as and well. It was so hilarious. <laughs> uh, but you've also written blogs before that were quite personal, and and every time you walk around. And those who know you say, be well, whoa, that guy, too much, TMI, right? Yeah, I, I will, like she says, um, I, I make the decision to put what I put out there. And uh, if, if one or two individuals can feel inspired, you know, yeah. or feel, um, they feel the ignition to start something they probably didn't think they could do, I think that's, um, that's a positive. Um, I always look at life in, in, in you know, different dimensions. Mm -hmm. If I can change somebody's life, in a certain way, I will do it in that way, right? I don't work on TV, so I can't change life by being on TV. I don't, um, I don't, I'm not a newspaper columnist, so I can't change what life that way. Mm -hmm. But I'm good on social media, I can't change life that way. So if I can motivate somebody to do something that they probably thought they couldn't do, that is a huge positive, I think, yeah. you know. If you're just joining us, I'm hanging out with uh, Pumla Nabachua and uh, Bernard at AKA at B Wall. And uh, we're running some of their pages on, on our screen. If you can uh, check them out, go to their pages and see the content. And that's where I want to, to go. Content. How do you come up with exciting content that is always, we're always like, whoa, if they retweet B Wall stuff, I want to see, you know? And there are people that I, I, I followed specifically to know that, for example, I, I follow <laughs> Patra, and I know if Patra retweets B Wall, I'll get I'll get the stuff. Pumla, you guys have exciting content. Yeah. Do you th do you think a lot about it, or you're just like, ah, oh, I see a nice picture, let me take it. <laughs> <laughs> no, honestly, um, we've we've kind of said this already that before you put something out, you you think through it, right? Um, you don't want it to be overly abusive or, you know, you don't want it to be vulgar. You want it to be in fine English. You want it to be refined. Oh, but, but the misconception... The English is yeah? important. The English, <laughs> no, no, the English important. is very important. The misconception <laughs> that people have is that um, some of us are probably very brilli brilliant or very hilarious. No, we are not. People have these same thoughts, but they are not sharing them. So for <laughs> us, we are willing to share, right? So I may say something and everybody will, will, will probably smile and laugh. But some other person may have said that it's just they're holding back, they don't want to share. Right. For us, we have the same ideas everybody has, but we are willing to share. So I, I don't think it's, it's so much about you know, being brilliant or anything. 
we're just willing to, you know, share. Yeah, I take the same stand, well, to an extent. I feel life is interesting, life is full of experiences, and it's really up to you to share your experiences. I'll give you an example. Me, the three of us here could be saying the exact same thing, but I might say it in a alluring way that mm -hmm. somebody else would want to read. We, we are making the exact same point. Yeah. You might be come on so strong, maybe abusive. I am, I, people might like maybe write that English that I really, really don't like on social media where people, you'll read through something and wonder, One of your posts did this was person about go to school? The English language oh my God, that, that for me is like the worst. You posted that and when I read it, I thought, hmm. You'd rather post in vernacular yeah. if you cannot write the English, <laughs> that <the> Queen's dialect <laughs> as, well, I do not want to judge, but, but I think it's just because we, we life, and personally, I'm open to experiences, I'm open to life in general. Many people are so, closed up and guarded and reserved mm -hmm. and right. yet we could be living through the exact same life's experiences. I've, I've had many people come to my posts and say, but Pumla, this life you live, is it real? Because you know people exaggerate on Facebook yeah, especially. Yeah, they, they pretend, they boast, they pretend to live a life that's not really there. So people keep asking, but these experiences, you where do they find you? And how, for how you come to talk we about, don't How come for them? me I don't find this experience? And I tell them, you receive what you get. Yeah. I'm open to experiences. For me, if I will walk through somewhere and I could even talk to a baby. I could have a five minute conversation with a man on the street. Can you do the same? Mm -hmm. And I said, no, but you see that man, he can pull you, he can pull your back, he can beat you, he can, you see, that's the guard. You're so guarded. Mm -hmm. If you were more open to life, life would be much more open to yeah. you yeah. and you'd have many more stories to tell. And All that's right. just it. All right. You have created some awesome trends on Twitter. And I want to quickly go back to them. The most popular, and if you have never seen this guy, the creator of PLE2012, hashtag PLE2012. A screenshot is coming up on your screen very soon. Dude, what happened? Why did you think about this? Of course, it was exam time. But this thing was profiled on even international news agencies. Yeah, um, again, like I said, it's not so much about me. Yeah? Uh, people, people are hilarious out there. People are very funny. The internet um, has has brought out that, that, that beat about people that, you know, because there's, there's people who are very funny, but they don't have platforms to express their, you know, their, their comedy and their humor. But um, that, that hashtag, for instance, when, when it came out, um, it was at a time when, you know, there's exams, there's PLE exams. Mm -hmm. But everybody has questions they would like to ask, right? Everybody has got questions they would like to ask. So I, th I think to myself, why not carve it out and make it seem like we are asking the P7 kids questions mm -hmm. and then the direction it took I mean it just spiraled out of control yeah. I asked one two three questions and people took it on and it was explosive you know people asking um, uh, they're, they're asking for instance things like um, uh, the Ugandan president you know has, has been in power for this long what are the odds <laughs> that you know he will you know, I discuss mean, it, the perimeter it, it, yeah, of what <laughs> you know it, 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 it was just it was fantastic and that along with so many other hashtags that have come you know along the way I think are, are um, a revelation of what the society is like. Because if, if in that hashtag, people were, were furious at, at the government for you know, one or two, three things. So everybody yeah. channels their, their anger, their, their interest, their dislikes through that hashtag. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's, 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 again, like I said, it's not about me. Or it's not about the person who creates the hashtag, but the people who... Yeah. You know, You've also been behind hashtags like July 2012. It, uh, again, that, that one... Um, I think it was 2013, I think, on that one, yeah. It, it, it wasn't again about me. It, it was after the July bombings and we're thinking, um, a hashtag to kind of, you know, remember the guys who passed on and uh, those who survived can share the experiences. And, and I, I thought it was, it, was, um, it, was, it was a moment of closure yeah, yeah. for those who had lost people. And mm -hmm. it, it, it also took on a new trend and... Everybody was saying, oh, I'm, I was here on that day, or oh, this mm -hmm. is what happened, or oh, this is the team I was supporting on that day, or, you know, things like that. So right. the hashtags, um, are, they help people to speak out. Do you, do you because out. I've talked to some people who, who follow you guys, and, and they've said, well, it looks like these people shy away a lot from politics. Is that one thing that you thought about where you write political content? <laughs> or Mine is deliberate. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is deliberate. I have set stand i will not write politics i will not write about politics i will not write about religion mm -hmm. i will not write about tribe 
unless I'm making, unless it's like humorous. Mm. Like I will not come out and target and attack and because you see, I think there's this whole thing. For me personally, I'm just trying to create, be part of a Facebook experience mm -hmm. where people are happy and joyful, but there's these particular topics and people are so set in their ways, in their mindsets. Let's go to a bar and have a drink and then we will discuss politics. Is, is it because you, 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 for example, you work for Bank of Uganda and so you're like, if uh, the chief sees my post you about You just had uh, to say that. You know it's work hours <laughs> yeah, I now, know. right? <laughs> we, we well, that's to... another one. That's it, it, as well, that the government is the hand that feeds me, so mm -hmm. I will sh I shy away from politics a lot because that's another problem. Even when social media, you are at a risk of invading your uh, your personal privacy, but you're at an even worse risk of bringing out your corporate or your professional privacy. That's the worst. Haven't risk. you got people, guys who have uh, you know approached you and like uh, you know I see you on Facebook doing your thing. You wanna you know do <laughs> the tango. So. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you get Not that as help? much as people think. You know, you African men, you're quite um, reserved, reserved especially with domin like domineering women. Mm -hmm. So not as much as so people you are actually think. Woman. I think that's what that's the perception that no, I think I live out. But you are. Yeah, I think she that's is. the perception. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you've fallen for it as well. <laughs> uh, people have met me you're actually a and said, woman. "Oh my God, I would like to think I'm a strong woman." All right. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you also created an interesting conversation <coughs> on Facebook and this, even those who didn't know about you, got to know about you when you wrote about the traffic, the Aussie traffic uh, at the Kira Road. Boom! <laughs> Let's go for that. How the officer in charge. Yes. I Isn't knew. that the point where people say, I knew you had to go there. Everybody asked, are you alright? Mm. Are you fine? Are you okay? Like, is, are you okay in the head? But that's another thing. I drive past that road every day and I see this guy every at least once a week uh -huh. and I think he's amazing. Okay, <laughs> so okay, I'm, okay, I just okay, okay, <laughs> I, okay. like I'm, I'm passing I'm going I'm coming I'm going I'm coming I'm saying but why why don't I just say something because I'm a writer I like to write mm -hmm. but I like to I need a platform to mm -hmm. release yeah. whatever is going on in my mind otherwise I think I'd run mad. So I just said, let me put it out there. So for those who don't know, it was really a post about this officer in charge who's, like, I carried, if you've read the Mills and Bones, I carried a <laughs> silhouette or Mills and Bones, and I put it on Facebook about this guy because I really do think he's awesome. He's a man in white uniform, and I think people need to know that men in uniform are really... Uh, <laughs> uh, but the, the, anyway, you the, drive by there anytime. He stands on the road with such... Oh, and... <laughs> so have you, have you talked to him? Like, no, I uh, haven't at all. You know he watches this show. Does he? Oh, hi. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> now he knows. <laughs> well, I'm sure people have told him. I know people are his friends and they've said, but you see, this is just another thing. People always take, they like to dip too deep. It was just, I was just saying, I've seen him. I don't, I'm not really interested so if you met in him, anything. If he came to you and said, Pumla, I read your article. And, yeah. You know, so... So... There you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, if he did that, I think I would give him. I would really want to have a conversation with him. I mean, he's he's the law, right? Yeah. So the, there can't be so much wrong mm. that he. But he's be arrested me before. So Has when he? you watched, I was like. <laughs> I think he's arrested <laughs> me before. <too. laughs> on purpose. Yeah, on purpose. I, I was told that many well, maybe I got arrested make on sure purpose. that they're arrested by this guy, this yeah. particular guy. They, so she's not the only... Yeah, I've seen women uh, actually pretend to be drunk on that road. And then when they see he's not the one in charge, oh, they sober up. <laughs> <laughs> and they go. No, but generally, that it's for me, that is just one of those things. It's nothing. It's like... There are particular things I will post about, and then there are things that it's just fun. Yeah. And you know, you, if you see that particular post, it, the effect I wanted is exactly what well, it what had, yeah. what I had. Because you know, people. I think it was that time when people were broke or something. Mm. But no one had anything yeah. to laugh about. Yeah. People were. It was like just after Christmas, January, mm -hmm. that drought when people don't have money, and people. Everything that guys were posting, I think people started to lose a few people right. the, as well. So I just felt, you know, why not humor up something like, not talk about anything and make people laugh. Yeah. And indeed, like, people were happy mm -hmm. and excited about it. And the next day, I followed it up again. And it, it was just, it created, it did exactly what, what you wanted I wanted it to do. Don't you get ridicule from family members who say, you know, literally everyone knows about you online. 
on you're, you're always there you're always tweeting you're always taking pictures you're always part of this course and people are like come on no on, 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 on the contrary my family thinks i'm superman mm. you go no, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> no seriously um my my, my family has has um they are, they they know that i make the right judgment yeah and when i make a mistake i, I pay for it and so whatever i put on social media i've also deliberately um, channeled it in such a way that someone might not exactly know too much about my family, right? Uh, and, and, of course, I've had a conversation with my dad. My dad is not a very huge fan of social media. Mm -hmm. He thinks it's, it's the devil's workshop. And it is. It is the devil's workshop. But <laughs> it can be. Yeah, it can be, yeah. But be. I've, I've also, I also um, I'm the kind of person who would like to be the bridge between those who don't understand it and those who, who are very passionate about it. Yeah. So as much as uh, they, they know that there's a part of me that's going out there, they also know that I have the sanity yeah. to hold back you know, certain vital things that shouldn't be shared in public. So my family, um, no, they're in support. And, and I, I know they're watching right now. They're probably you know, celebrating and stuff. And, yeah, so. <laughs> then it's on TV. <laughs> yeah, so they're, 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 you know, they're, they're fine. They're fine. Awesome. Mm, they are okay. Pumla, your family. My family, it's not so much what I post. It's so much that the fact that I'm saying this today, I could say something wrong tomorrow. Yeah. I think there is that, but well, I've, we, I've been on Facebook for maybe since 2008. I was quite, I was much younger then. So of course at the time, they're not sure what's, mm, what you're going to say. How about, yeah. but, and you know, it had just started and people were abusing it so much. People were making so many mistakes. Yeah. So yes, I think when it had just started, literally I used to meet my dad for lunch every Sunday. As a family, we meet for lunch every Sunday. So I would, we would go for lunch and my dad would have people would have sent him the things that have like, um, put up on Facebook. He's not wow. on any social media flat platform. Mm. And he'd sit down and he'd really want to discuss, but why do you have to? Like, why, <laughs> why did, but wow. you see, he knows, you know every parent knows their child. Mm. Yeah. He knows if he comes strong at me so strong, I will, <laughs> I will go. Yeah. But I didn't, you see, because family is so sensitive. Yeah, it is. So it family is, is sensitive, is, yeah. work is sensitive. You, I think when I started to grow a little older, he realized oh, she's got, she has a good head She's on her shoulders. Sure. Yeah. If for our family not to support you, it means they don't trust you. They yeah, raised you. Exactly. How does somebody who raised you not trust you in the end? So whose fault is that? Yeah. But no, with my family, everybody's good. Everybody's awesome. fine. Yeah. Well, guys, we'll definitely be following you up on the social media platforms. All right. uh, these are some of the guys who use these platforms for good. And uh, many of us have abused uh, social media because we are posting pornography. We did a huge comprehensive report on uh, how Sengas are using platforms like uh, Facebook to, you know, to sell pornographic material. And you can go and uh, check out that video uh, by Solomon Kawasa. But more than a billion people use the internet every day. What you post there matters but also it's an opportunity for us to catch up it's an opportunity for us to meet long lost friends the time of pen polls and what is yeah. gone yeah. <laughs> and now we can meet people online a guy jumps off the you know the nssf <laughs> building we are on it before the newspaper gets it we are creating changes in social media that's what you need to do that's where you need to go for more of this we'll be posting this uh on uh our youtube channel very soon pumla and Bernard. Live a life online. Do you? And how do you regulate it? Well, let's take a breather. When we come back, we'll talk to a girl who lives her life in the world of sports. Aisha will be joining us on the Sports Update. Good morning. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>